Friday Math Workshops we have every Friday and we're doing a whole bunch of different math activities. We try to do things that basically we've been learning about in class and the nice thing too is that we can recycle and we can, you know, things that we've done earlier in the year, they can come back through. We can do, you know, things on time and money and fractions and continue to do different activities to make sure the kids hang on to those skills. Very similar to close to 20. All right, do you remember how we played close to 20? Yeah. yeah. All right, how many cards did we deal out for close to 20? Do you remember? Five. There were five cards, and then you chose how many? Remember, you actually chose three cards, and you had to add them all together, and you wanted to get a total that was as close to 20 as possible. Well, now this game is called Close to 100. All right, the directions are right here. Pick four cards. Wait, wait, wait. And then we use two of the numbers put together to make a two-digit number. And then we use the other two to make another two-digit number. And the, the one who gets closest to 100 wins. What two numbers would you like to start with? And then you can figure out what your two wild card would be to get close to 100. Or actually to get one. So now, if you, what would you make your wild card be? What would you add to 61? 39. Very good. That was quick. Okay, come on. 61 and 39. So what did you do, Tucker? You have a wild card. Um, 61 for these wild cards I made. 39. So what you could, do, you could do such a job. That is a book called The Grouchy Ladybug. And it kept wanting to fight with people, but the first person it saw was the friendly ladybugs were pretending to be the friendly ladybug and were making of what it's doing. And does that, how does that relate to math? But you're learning like about at six o'clock. Like yeah, it, that it woke up and smelled the flowers and felt the morning breeze. So so you're learning about time. And that's math, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Although you don't think about it that way. You don't. We're looking at book orders and then we record the time and see how much they cost and then do another book order and then we see then we add up and see how much the whole cost is of each of these. And then we add the grand total of both. And what are you learning? Uh, math? What do yeah. equivalent fractions mean? Well, like, things that are equal to it, except, like, in different ways to make them. Right, okay. So show me what you what you did for what was equivalent well, to what. I did it for one whole half, two two-eighths. Mm -hmm. two two-eighths, I did four sixteenths. And how do you know that those are equivalent? Well, well I started counting my head. Plus, I can use these. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Do you think that's a good way to learn about fractions? Yeah. Learn how to count in your head. There's like a money problem how to make like 22. There was one way and you have to make another. Okay. Each page you have to do that in a different way. So, what stamp are you using right now? Um, Did you play the penny. You're using the penny. So you know how many pennies. I'm gonna do like ten and ten pennies and just a dime. Okay. And then two pennies. So twelve pennies and one dime. And then you have to come up with other ways to make twenty-two cents. Yeah. Oh, okay. What about you, Mia? Yours is thirty eighty-three cents. So what did you use to add up to eighty-three cents? Two quarters, and then um, I'm going to use um, ten. Um, I'm going to use three um, dimes, three dimes, and three pennies. Great. 